อยากได้ประชาธิปไตยเหมือนกันไม่อยากอยู่ภายใต้เผด็จการหรืออยู่ภายใต้การครอบงำของจีน No! No! อันนี้ก็กลายเป็นสีสันแล้วสุดท้ายก็ทำให้มีชาติอื่นมาร่วมด้วยอย่างฮ่องกงนะครับอย่างไต้หวันเข้ามาแจมในเรื่องนี้ในฟิลิปปินส์นะครับก็เข้ามาแสดงความคิดเห็นกันทำให้มันเกิดการรวมกลุ่มกันแล้วก็มีคนในอินเทอร์เน็ตนะครับเป็น Anonymous เนี่ยแหละทั่วไปเนี่ยก็ตั้งขึ้นมาเป็นมิวทีอะไรอันเอาเราเอาสิ่งที่เรามีร่วมกันคือชาดมมาชนแก้วกันนะครับภาพนี้ก็เป็นมีมถูกแพร่กระจายไปทั่วโลกเลยนะครับ n a t i e with Chody p a p a i s a n is a vocal critic of China's growing geopolitical dominance in Asia he's also at the forefront of a pan-Asian loose network of netizens called the Milk Tea Alliance In April 2020, a Twitter war erupted between Chinese netizens and pro-democracy ties. After Bright, a Thai actor retweeted a photo that seemed to suggest Hong Kong is a country. He apologized and removed the post, but his model girlfriend n e w was also found to have previously commented that she looks like a Taiwanese girl, which Chinese netizens interpreted as meaning that the self-ruled island of Taiwan is not part of China, a contentious subject. Vice World News spoke to Ned Hewitt, a 25-year-old Thai pro-democracy student activist with over 300,000 followers, who was just one of many digital savvy activists from around the region who got involved in the unexpected online fight. They used the viral conversation from the high-profile actor and his girlfriend to call out China's rising power and support homegrown democracy movements. And memes like these have become a medium they use to speak to a new generation of politically conscious people. The Milk Tea Alliance has resonated with young people in Thailand, upset with the status quo since the 2014 military coup. Netiwit is a student union president and founder of an independent publishing house. On the day, it's all done, right? How many books? Three books. The unexpected arrival of this uniquely Gen Z online alliance brought new life to his campaigning. What is the Milk Tea Alliance? Milk Tea Alliance uh, is a phenomena in the Twitter. It uh, happens very surprising way. The netizens from China and from Thailand had some disputes on the actors, and that made uh, netizens in uh, Thailand very angry. That thing, why China? You you think that you are the center of the world? You already oppress the people, but you think that you own everything, own Hong Kong, own Taiwan. Finally, something emerged. That some people on Twitter calling that uh, we Thai, Taiwan, Hong Kong, we are in the same alliances, and maybe that call milk tea alliances. Why milk tea? What we have very common in Thailand and in Hong Kong, Taiwan, we share the culture to drink milk tea, and Taiwan milk tea is very popular in Thailand, and Thai milk tea already are very very favorite. For Thai and for other people in other countries already. Hong Kong, they already struggle for democracy for many years before young generation in Thailand awakening. Taiwan, which they have experienced the dictatorship like in Thailand, and they have the sunflower movement maybe five or six years ago. What other countries have become involved? In the Philippines, also people are so very angry about China want to claim the maritime. So they have some dispute already, and that make them also think that we we want to to join the alliance. Myanmar also they fighting for democracy, 
but the Myanmar government have some link uh, to China, but uh, China d doesn't care about uh, their human rights. And when the coup d'état, uh, they want to uh, overthrow the uh, democratic government in, in Myanmar, China seems to no care on this. So Burmese, they also think that we have to fight against the military and Chinese government. As the movement gained momentum, netizens from other countries in the region began joining in with shareable memes, viral posts and pro-Beijing bot bashing. Why do Chinese netizens get so upset with this war of words? They are upset because the, they can't attack us. They want us to be angry. In return, they are more angrier because we are not angry in what they are attacking us. And we also ask them why you don't ask this to your government. You can't then access to internet freely. Even you want to attack us, you have to escape the firewall. It's really ridiculous for us. Uh, they seem very patriotic, but they have to break the law. A lot of international commentators said that they felt that the Thai netizens won against the Chinese netizens when the Milk Tea Alliance was first formed. And that was because of the wit and the humour and also self-deprecation of Thai people. Can you talk a bit more about this and why Thai people can find humour in this situation? Chinese netizens, they know that we are living in authoritarian regime, but they think it's fine like them. They think that we might love uh, the dictator like they love. They attack us on this, but we already, you know, feel thankful for them to attacking our uh, elites, our um, dictator, which they think that we might love like them, but no, we not and we attack them on the Tiananmen issues, on the Tibetan issues, something like that, which they can't answer. We are hum humor or laughing at um, what's happening. What type of posts go viral? Twitter is a very, very good way, you know, to generate the meme and uh, the ideas, because you have to be very concise on the ideas. You have to explain it clearly, and when people understand it, they can make a difference. So um, a lot of things that I campaigns uh, allow in the Twitter and the hashtags are very good way to count how many people are interested in the issue. On the one year anniversary of the Milk Tea Alliance, Twitter designed an emoji featuring three different types of milk tea colors, which appears when tweeting any of the movement's popular hashtags. In the space of a year, the Milk Tea Alliance hashtag had been used over 11 million times. With this massive amount of traction, Alliance members have found an innovative way to support their separate, localised causes while gaining international attention and avoiding arrest. Members of the Milk Tea Alliance have taken to cross-promoting each other's causes. Why is this? Because I think it's safe. In Thailand, you can't even talk about some issues like monarchy. Hong Kongers don't have the less majesty law, so they can support us on this. In Taiwan, people also want to talk much about the independence from the China, but maybe it has some reluctantly to talk on this. But in Thai, we can speak it freely. We already know that Taiwan is independent from China, but why they can't even speak? freely on this. So we talk about this, we campaign for them. People can't speak about Tiananmen, about Tibetan, but we went to China Embassy in Thailand in front of them to show the solidarity to Tibetan, to Uyghur, to Tiananmen survivors. When Joshua Wong sent me his message that he wants to support Thai people for democracy by uh, demonstrations in the Thai embassy in Hong Kong and he want me to spread this message in Twitter. I did it and that uh, make a lot of impact. National security law at that time already happening in Hong Kong but national security law didn't uh, say that you can't speak about uh, Thailand and uh, we are still very grateful for his action. 
Neti Witt is using his position in the student union and his online following to organize talks and form a network with other activists involved in the Milk Tea Alliance. I would like to ask you about uh, what happening about um, China intervention in Taiwan. Like uh, they, they send their uh, military flying flight jets uh, every day to, to Taiwan. We need more talks. We can create like a fellowship program, multi-alliance fellowship. Yes, sure. What's your hope for the future of young people in Thailand and also the future of the Milk Tea Alliance? The authoritarian regime, they are already very afraid. If they are not afraid, why they arrest young people in jail? Joshua Wong also said that the time is on our side. I think that the time is on our side. But it may be take time. Maybe you have to make a decade of the multi-alliance struggles to win this. I think it's possible now because before that, when I fighting in my society, talking about the human rights issues, about China, about Hong Kong, people think it's not connect with them. It's uh, different. It's isolated country. But now, uh, when I talk about Hong Kong, about Taiwan, about Tibet, about Uyghur, Thai people feel that yeah, we are living in the same community. We are have same aspiration.